start with Sefer Chafetz Chaim. And a uh, new, new subject that we started uh, last time was uh, per, uh, Toela's personal information. So we were speaking about uh, disclosing secrets. Now it's a little, I mean, same, same, uh, same idea. Now, but it's very specific. Lawyers and therapists, right? The commandment do not stand aside while your fellow blood is being uh, shed in Vikram 1916 presents a major dilemma for professionals who, whose effectiveness, uh, reputation, and livelihood rests on the confidence placed in, uh, in him by his clientele. So, as we can understand, often client uh, will reveal to his lawyer or therapist information that is being withheld from, uh, from someone unjustly. Uh, whenever possible, the therapist must convince his client that, uh, that uh, he has a moral obligation to divulge such information to the proper party. Uh, where appropriate, the client uh, should be made to understand that despite of the consequences, he will be uh, in experience sense of uh, relief after having revealed the information. Moreover, by being honest and open uh, in his personal life, one is, um, one is able to develop the more positive self-image. Should the client uh, persist on re in refusal to divulge such information, the proper party, the lawyer or the therapist, may, may be faced with a painful choice of either allowing destructive relationship to, to materialize or a poss possibly jeopardize his livelihood and reputation. Consultation with a competent halakhic authority is a must in such situation. This, uh, this would also apply uh, to the physician who is aware that a chronically ill patient is seeking to marry. Uh, when uh, bring such a matter before the halakhic authority, one should not mention the names of the patients involved unless it's absolutely necessary. So that's, uh, that's a very interesting piece. So let's try to understand. So from the beginning, so lawyers and therapists, meaning that, uh, that, that people would uh, tell them the secrets that uh, they want to, to keep. And uh, as, as we understand, because of the secrets, because of the information, some, somebody might be suffering. Okay. So uh, again, the commandment, do not stand aside when your fellow blood is being shed. So meaning what? That uh, when, when we can help somebody, another Jew is suffering, so you have to help him. Right? So now the, this lawyer in, or this uh, therapist knows the information and they should uh, keep quiet. I think they, they uh, in, in, in America, I think maybe in other countries, if the lawyer will, will uh, like, uh, disclose the information, they can lose uh, the license, I think. Not allowed, so it's not so simple. So, okay. Um, so, the, the, this presents a ma major dilemma for the professional whose effectiveness, right, meaning uh, effectiveness, meaning uh, they keep everything in secret, a reputation, right, meaning that he's the lover, a li and livelihood, meaning that uh, people, uh, if he's going to lose license, nobody will to come to him, rest uh, on a confidence uh, place in him by, by this clientele. Right? Why? Because he is reliable to keep the secret, which is uh, and be always on the, on the side uh, uh, of the um, of the client. Okay. Place and client. Often the client will uh, reveal to his lawyer or therapist information that is being withheld uh, from someone unjustly. Whenever possible, the therapist must convince his client. All right. Uh, uh, apologies. Apologies. Sorry. Clientele with uh, often the cl client will reveal the lawyer, uh, lawyer or therapist information that is being withheld from someone unjustly, meaning uh, maybe from his spouse, maybe from somebody that uh, I don't know, a therapist uh, that he is cheating on uh, on his husband, on, on on his wife, right? And uh, therapist cannot uh, cannot say, right? That's that's terrible. But I uh, my my personal understanding that people before going to this. Uh, profession they had to like uh, uh, consider all of these things we should go to our way and ask them should they should I go in this in this field or not I mean uh, the lawyer could be a real estate lawyer or something I don't know even real estate lawyer I don't know if he knows some defects that the client is trying to hide 
and he's playing along. I don't know. I don't know, I, I don't know what, what what be the, the safest uh, type of lawyer. Maybe patent lawyer. I don't know. So it's not it's not so simple for sure. So again, whenever possible, a therapist must convince his client that uh, he has a moral obligation to divulge such information a proper way. So that's how we approach, and uh, we said also in uh, in a case of uh, co-workers. So it's better to talk to them, right? And in this case, uh, and say, look, uh, yeah, it's, it would be better for you if you tell them uh, by yourself. Otherwise, they're going to find out uh, somehow. Where appropriate, the client should be made uh, to understand that despite the consequences, right, he will experience uh, 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 experience the sense of relief after having revealed, uh, relieved, uh, revealed the information, right? So that's uh, that's also like uh, the, the, the person that stands, he's worried, so we're trying to tell him, look, you're going to feel better. So that if he's uh, trusting this uh, um, lawyer or this therapist, so that's what they should do. Right, and uh, lawyer can even offer like a, I don't know some uh, partial refund. I guess right, money always work, right? So I think right, uh, money like say uh, I'm, I'm with you. I try try to, to help the person. Moreover, by being honest and open in his personal life, one is able to develop a more positive self-image. Right. So I mean that it's, it's a people who cheat. The, on their wife, on their customers, on I don't know, in job, everybody, they, they, they're miserable people. Why? Right? Because they, they, they cannot have a peace of mind. They think everybody's after them, and maybe everybody's after them. Right? So, should the client persist uh, in refusal to divulge the, such information to proper party, a lawyer uh, or, or a therapist may be faced with a painful choice either to allow in destruction relation to, to materialize. Right, um, I'm not sure if he can defuse the case. He can be in a big, uh, big trouble. I don't know. I mean, of course, you you can refuse like uh, uh, not not in direct way, but uh, like right, uh, materialize or possibly jeopardize his livelihood and reputation. Right, so the guy would say like, why, uh, why would I do that uh, because of his wife? Right, basically because he's cheating on his wife, well, he's not. Uh, she, she's probably most probably not not the best wife according to him. So a, a person uh, is going to convince himself that uh, maybe I, I like why why should my holy family is going to suffer just to to have uh, to, to to say like uh, to to get the information to his wife? Who needs that? Right. I mean, if, to, to like to go into this field to be a therapist or to be like, so this lawyer. It's terrible. Okay, consultation uh, with a competent halachic authority is a must in such situation, right? Uh, meaning, don't don't make any decision because the, the, this lawyer, this uh, therapist, he's biased, one hundred percent, right? He's biased, so he has to do something else, right? I mean, something else meaning to consult with uh, some third party. This would also apply to physician. Who is aware of the chronically ill uh, patient is seeking to marry. So I'm not sure. Maybe he he came uh, to visit the to uh, visit, visit the doctor and say, yeah, I'm I'm getting married. But he said, yeah, but did he tell her that you have this and this that we discussed? That uh, right? He said no, I'm not. Uh, uh, she does not need to know, right? So uh, so what was the obligated of that? So he has to like look around, like try to to find. Of course, he has the uh, address of this person on file and uh, I mean like follow up it's uh, like big deal to find what, what he's uh, whom he sh he's trying to marry okay when uh, bring such a matter before halakhic authorities one should not mention the names of the parties involved unless it is absolutely necessary um, um, most of the time I, I would uh, would assume it's not necessary to know well, like who, who cares what the names are okay just not here. All right, so before we continue, let's see if we have any questions. Okay, so no question. <coughs> uh, clientele, if clientele is not Jewish, but the information is held from a Jewish Jews and uh, justly, do we have to? Do we have the obligation to persuade the clientele? Um, how about the, uh, the reverse situation? 
So again, in this case, the client is not Jewish. So client is not Jewish, but information is held from the Jews and justice. So right. So let's say there are two partners, so to to somebody, the uh, and uh, Jew is suffering, right? So this this situation do not stand um, idly. Well, uh, when your brother's uh, blood is being spilled, is actually the, exactly the situation. That doesn't matter who who, who is hurting this person, be it a Jew or not Jew, right? So he has to try to protect. Uh, do we have to uh, do, do, do we have the obligation to pursue the client? Yeah, absolutely, one hundred percent. So as we said, if uh, his uh, client is non-Jew, but uh, uh, the, he, he's hurting uh, a Jew. Okay. Mm. How about the reverse situation? Meaning that uh, a Jew is hurting non-Jew. I mean, technically, technically, he's not obligated one hundred percent according to that halacha because. Uh, this non-Jew is uh, is not uh, he, he, his fellow. He's not from his nation. On one hand, on, on the other hand, it could be big kill Hashem. So I don't know. It's uh, it's uh, it's very hard. It's 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 very hard situation. I I would uh, like I would not advise anybody to to go into this field because it's only a matter of time when uh, when they're going to be tested. And I think it's so sooner or later, right? As, as I said, even uh, if he's a real estate lawyer, right, or business lawyer, like, and and, and this guy is saying, no, uh, we, we cook the books, we, we change some uh, data, this and that. So, like, hopefully they are not going to find out, like, create the, put put in this clause and that language because uh, because either one day come by, come come back to me, this and that, because uh, like. The lawyer understand. Forget about like criminal lawyer. Forget about this uh, the therapist. So the, the lawyer that represents this uh, client, he understand that uh, the guy is lying. So <laughs> I would say uh, I'm not sure. That's a tough call. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So ne next question, Kudrav. Uh, can a law or uh, a Jew be a lawyer? Since the only true law is Torah, isn't it considered a type of heresy? Um, sounds, okay, so a Jew is not allowed to be a judge to to decide the law. That's uh, that's for sure. Um, but uh, technically, it can be he a Jew can be a lawyer just to 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 present a case. So in a when when he presents the, the the case on one side, he's not breaking any Torah law. I'm sorry, he's not he's not decided the law. So so if if he's not going to get involved in this uh, uh, with this kind of crooks, I mean may, maybe there is a way. I don't know. I don't know. I mean uh, maybe there is a way. When I say maybe there is a way, well, then he he can refuse. But uh, it's hard. I would say don't do it because it's like uh, for sure. It's only a matter of time when the person is going to fail, and uh, and guess what? When he when he's going to fail for the first time, he's going to convince that uh, he's innocent and uh, and uh, that that party deserves it and this and that and his family needs to eat and and uh, those are crooks and those are crooks. Like who cares? Right. So terrible. Okay. So we don't have any cheese, but we have other questions. So it says. Uh, Uh, is uh, in this case is uh, is a lawyer allowed to pretend to be sick to escape the situation? Is this type of line permitted? Yeah, it's well, this type of line is permitted. So I'm, I'm just wanted to uh, to to remind uh, of, of, like uh, about the situation. So the situation was that uh, um, that we discussed in the beginning of the class about. Um, uh, lawyers and therapists uh, that, that when they hear some secrets from uh, from from their clients it looks like uh, that they have to disclose to the to the suffering party right so the, so they they cannot get uh, get away from it. I mean uh, because uh, there is a they have we said there is halacha don't allow your your brother blood to be spilled while you're watching right um, yeah, he can pretend that that he's uh, he's uh, he's a sick, but how how long he's going to be sick? 
Right, so, so this person said, okay, he's sick, or maybe three, five days, I'm going to wait. Yeah, well, like, uh, well, what this lawyer is going to do? Right, if in the meantime, he has other open cases, he has to work on them. Um, I think if, they, if they're going to complain, if they're going to, to, com to complain to, what is it, the office uh, bar, bar, bar association, they, they can, uh, like, uh, they, they, this guy, this lawyer can, uh, can lose his license. You understand? So I, I would say, I would say, uh, if 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 it's a money matter, so give the, this guy a price that uh, like seventeen times bigger, so he would quit. Uh, that is uh, to client, right? I, I'm not sure if it's uh, it's going to work out. If he's uh, said the money is irrelevant, I want you, you because you're the best lawyer. So what, what are you going to do then? I'm not sure.